Hey, so I haven't posted in a while, but I've wanted to do a video on keybinds. So my guild recently did a keybind sharing, which is kind of why I'm making this video. Additionally, with the sixth job upcoming a new age patch, uh, we're kind of running out of space on our keyboard. So I think it's about time a video like this came out. I'm also curious to see what other people do for their keybinds. So if you have any tips and tricks other than in this video, feel free to share them in the comments below. So I want to get into setting keybinds, um, some general information, and yeah, some tips and tricks. So this is my keybind layout right now, but I'm going to go to a new page and uh, yeah, let's start. So some general information, I want to, instead of using this, let's just reset and use, everyone's seen this, when you make a new character, this menu appears. Let's just go to secondary key setting, because this is actually pretty close to what I use. So immediately, um, some things that are not necessary, I'll just get rid of these emotes. You can right click to remove them, and that's fine, because we want to make space. Uh, let's start by the green keys. Let's talk about the green keys. So I don't think any of them are actually necessary. Uh, these are mostly chat functions, um, and there are keyboard like shortcuts to actually access them. So uh, all of these over here, on, and I guess on basic, if you do want to see, there are one through five. But over here, we can just remove them. These five say party chat, uh, friend chat, guild chat, alliance chat. Let's just bring in internal chat real quick. So we can actually access them through slash S, which is all. Actually, you can actually just see the uh, shortcuts here. So slash S is all, P is party, G is guild. Uh, A or slash ally is alliance. Slash spouse, there's a button for spouse here, but it's not green. And then two buddy is uh, slash friend. There's also slash B for buddy, right? So there's shortcuts for all of them. Whisper is actually slash W, and it brings up this menu. And then toggle chat, it's only relevant if you use internal chat, and it just toggles this, or minimize and maximize button. I personally use external chat because I play windowed. I know some people have uh, difficulty using external if they're on full screen, but um, this button's not that necessary, so we'll remove both of those as well. Cool. Let's talk about the blue keys now. Um, these keys are actually quite useful. Uh, and even though they're actually found in some of the menu buttons, like equipment can be found in this character, uh, as well as inventory, you use them so often that it's still worth to have them on their own keys, especially when you're like swapping gear for bosses, you want to just open these two up at the same time. So on this uh, secondary default, they actually group it up in um, you and I together, which is actually what I use. So um, you can see you and I right there. One thing I don't use is the quest log. Um, because quest log you can access through the menu right here, and then it's, it'll be the uh, top option. So quest log I don't use. Um, jumping a little bit ahead, this button is definitely one that I use. Uh, just bring it back. So the menu button, it's on left bracket right now. Yeah, so left bracket, arrow key down, and then enter is how I usually get to the quest log. So we don't need that button. Stats is also pretty important. Stats and skills, I... Uh, these are really commonly used, especially if you're toggling your presets. Um, for example, like bossing, maybe you have an arcane forest page, uh, maybe you have a farming page. Very, very useful if you want uh, stats to be opened. Skills are pretty important too, because a lot of the time you want to check. Some, some classes even toggle their uh, passive skills when they're mobbing versus bossing. Some classes also change their view matrix, especially if you use these special nodes for bossing, mobbing, etc. Uh, this key is very important as well. And cool. So that's the blue keys. These are the only four blue keys that I use. As for the yellow keys, uh, I only bind a couple. So what ends up happening is I don't use... Oh, I, I do use boss party. Boss party is fairly important. It opens up this menu, which is super, uh, super useful. Tells you which bosses you have cleared for the week. And as well as you can queue for the boss like this, or even... You can click this and then move to boss. So that's pretty important. Item pod is useless. Uh, profession is useless. Event. Event, you can access through this green button. So I personally don't have this bound. And metals, I don't have bound. However, I will bind um, battle analysis because I use this pretty often just to check how much damage I'm doing. I usually open this every time I'm in a boss fight um, just to keep track of... Like, I kind of know what damage I'm expecting. If you do this enough, you'll see, like, I don't know, sometimes you'll accidentally have drop gear or maybe not the correct gear on when you're actually fighting a boss. So you'll know 
pretty much based on your first burst if you have the right gear on or not, or if you're missing familiars or something like that. Um, I'll also have the, let's see, not guide. Some people actually do put guide on. I'm not a fan of it because it just helps you teleport around. There are some useful things in here, but I just personally don't use it because I just teleport rock. I do have a bound, per, uh, let's see, do I? I do have a bound, but I really don't use it. And I also have familiars bound, which are pretty important. So this is generally the setup I use. Uh, and you can notice that the left side of the keyboard is opening up. Cool. Other things can be accessed pretty easily. Yeah, maple relay, not that important. Achievement can be accessed through the menu. Um, Legion can also be accessed through the menu, so I do it through here. Just use the menu button and the Legion button. Metals as well. Monster collection, really nice. And yeah, there are also some buttons that have to be accessed through the menu, like go home and go to guild castle. I guess go to guild castle is actually through the guild menu, but that's fine. Okay, um, I think that's about it. So these are the yellow keys that I have on usually. And yeah, sometimes I have I have a guide on, but I don't use it frequently. Okay, so for gray keys, um, I don't bind cash up. I bind pickup, uh, but I don't bind minimap. Minimap is kind of useless outside of content like a spirit saver and MPE maybe Monster Park Extreme to maximize the map. So I don't really use minimap that much. Pickup I usually bind on somewhere else on the right side of the keyboard, M is usually where I put it. World map is also pretty useful, um, just to teleport everywhere. You can access it through this button, but I think it's used frequently enough for dailies and getting around that it's worth its own key. Sit is not used that often. Um, there are some quests, maybe, like tutorial quests that require sit, but after those are done, you don't really need it. There's also some like gachapon public chairs that people will sit on that you need this button but otherwise not that important. Uh, guild is an interesting one. So you can access guild through your skill tab. This is the way I do it. I don't actually bind guild because you can access through your skill tab and then pressing guild skills. So this is how I usually open this menu is always through this button. And the only way to, and also guild castle is in right here. Also, uh, you can only open this menu. This button is grayed out if you're not in a guild. So if you're not in a guild, uh, and I don't bind it even on characters without a guild, but if you're looking for it, it'll be under the community menu. Down here, you'll actually have to open guild this way um, through this menu. Cool. Uh, friends, I don't actually bind either because you can access it through your party button. So party and then double tab will open up your friends list. So I don't actually bind my party or my uh, friends list either. Cool. There's also a uh, menu, which I do bind. I put on my period button and then notifier. I don't. For notifier, quest notifier, I usually just go to my in progress and I don't really have to check that much. So this is about where we're at. Soul weapon is a, a pretty, oh, we don't need quick slots. Quick slots, I personally just like if I need to access cash op, then uh, I'll just click this little button. Yeah, so uh, that that's fine. And then if I need cash hop or like any other of these menus, like checking event list, I'll just click this button and then click the uh, yeah these two buttons. Cool. And then soul weapon is a pretty interesting one. Soul weapon, I tend to bind only on like events, like a 5x max soul event. Um, I also bind it on my Mercedes because I needed to keep track of. Mugong, uh, Soul Charge. Usually, I mean, if you're before it, you can also check the gauge though by just hovering your weapon. So down there, it'll say like zero out of a thousand and it'll match what this says. But the only important thing is this Soul Collector book and this can only be accessed through this menu. That's probably about it. Um, you can also open this tab by unequipping and re-equipping your weapon. This is pretty much the setup that I will use and yeah. So it'll look like this, you can see, and attack key. Sometimes attack is important, but not really. I just have it usually bound to equals on a lot of characters or H sometimes, but yeah. So this is what I use um, generally. I don't know if there's more to be a, uh, like more space available, but yeah, actually something like this pretty much. Some players will also bind their alt, their jump to a different key. 
as well as this to Y, because putting it on Y auto advances through the yes and no from the NPC chat, as well as hitting accept or refuse on those as well. So yeah, a lot of players actually put interact on Y as well. I personally just put it on spacebar, because um, I find it pretty, pretty easy. It's useful enough. Cool. Uh, moving on to some tips. Let's see. So, one thing that people want to do is actually build muscle memory when you're um, when you're bossing or even mobbing, I guess. Mostly for bossing. You don't really want to be searching around for your keybinds when you're bossing, especially not looking at cooldowns. You kind of generally want to know when things are up, and that's what your quick salts are for. You can actually see your cooldowns. Uh, one thing that people will commonly do is put all your buffs on one row of keys. So for example, on this character, I put uh, 1 to 4 as some of my buffs, as well as Q to BR. E is usually where my um, AB link is. This is generally what my keys uh, keybind setup is, and it's very similar on my uh, Luminous, as well as my Xenon. Cool. So one tip that I prefer to do is that on these quick slot menus, I will put my utility very far left because it's very important to know when your utility is uh, available and off cooldown. So this includes like my will skills, um, iframes, this is the class iframe and this is eform, as well as like, uh, well, Khan has an up jump that's not always available, so it has a cooldown. I put it here, as well as blink. So these utility items as well, I mean, mana balance is pretty useful for Kana because it regenerates mana. So I'll have these, as well as Potion, actually. Potion and iframe, again. This is Jenny iframe. And uh, this is our lifesteal ability. So I put all of my, like, these, I guess, these first six on the left, as well as these four on the bottom, these are all utility, and I keep them very close to the center, because I always want to see when they're up, pretty much. If it's available, and, I don't know, you're in a dangerous situation, it's very good to press anything that gets you out of, you know, get out of jail free card. So that's the way I set it up. And then other buffs, you want to find their cooldowns uh, generally. Yeah, so this is... Um, oh, here's actually a, another tip. So there's a thing called ring activation now for Oz. This is a very specific tip, I guess. But some classes find benefit to queuing, queue casting this through the in-game macro. And what you can do is after the previous ability ends, so for example, you usually cast AB into your ring. Or I guess some classes do A, B, and then last resort if you're a thief, and then ring. But you can immediately queue this just by putting your ring activation, which has no cooldown, um, into, into uh, this macro. So what happens is you can macro this button, the ring activation, this in-game macro, and then place your ring activation key. So this skill goes on to here then the ring activation will go into another key. And the reason you do this is so that you can see the cooldown. Sometimes some classes actually find benefit to doing this because when you macro abilities, it starts, like you can Q cast it. Let's say you press uh, AB and then this, right when AB ends and you press um, this skill during your AB animation, um, after the AB action delay is over, it'll immediately cast this skill. So you queued it into like um, an action queue. And so it, it'll use this immediately after the uh, AB action ends. So some classes find a benefit to it. I personally like using it. Um, but yeah, so that's something that you can do to save space. Um, I don't think I have any other advice for now, but yeah, that might be it. So cool. Thanks for watching.